Hey everybody, welcome back to Farming Simulator 22. Scroft here, and with Beanie, and we're back on the Forgotten Lands and our survival series. We were off last week. We didn't get a chance to do an episode because I was doing the Farman week, but we're back now. So, hey Beanie. Hello. Nice to be back. Yeah? Yeah, definitely. Good. Good. Hopefully, we fix the, the problems we were having last time around with the tractor and the, the cultivator and the plow and all that stuff. So, um, yeah. <laughs> hopefully going to be all right fingers crossed i mean this is uh bs survival for a reason i suppose <laughs> <laughs> that is true that is true you know beanie and scroft yes yeah 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 yep, exactly <laughs> beanie and scroft <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> right so we're going to chop down a few trees we're going to make some wood chips we found a solution to that i'll talk people through that in a second we're going to chop down two of our proper okay. spruce trees this time so hopefully we'll get more you know money for it because there'll be more volume in it um so if you want to start chopping one of them trees down and i'll just quickly talk through what we've done and how we change things okay i'll also turn the the wood chipper on thank you very much all right so it's rocking and rolling so ready to go right so basically what we've done is in the last episode we had uh, a couple of tractors one of them wasn't working because for some reason it just it didn't like the uh, the cultivator on the back which is i don't know why so i decided to swap out the tractors for something else i might have gone with the landini here uh, eight eighty five fifty. now it's just like the counterpart that i've got which is the massey ferguson this is a two-wheel drive this is about 80 horsepower i think and the massey ferguson it's equivalent it's equivalent is about 90 horsepower so we've pretty much not kind of upgraded we've got around the same uh, but what I did do is we got a wood chipper. So a really cool, small wood chipper. Now, big shout out to Mark 4 for pointing this one out for us. So this is going to hopefully help us out. Um, it's a bit tricky to use. It's it's not the easiest to use. But yeah, it's, it's doing the job. So we are going to try and make a bit of money from that in this episode. Um, and this is the other one. So we've got a four-wheel drive, 698 Massey. Um, which I'm actually going to drive up to us now, Beanie. I'm just going to disconnect from the plows. Okay, okay. I'm going to bring this up with the other trailer, the Chieftain's one, because we're going to try and drive both these trailers up. I was thinking um, the capacity, yeah, I'm sure the capacity of that trailer is higher than the capacity of the, the van that we've got, so it makes sense to just use these two trailers. Yeah, are you definitely. Having, are you having fun with the tree? I am. It's uh, it's going well so far. I've, nice. I've felled it, and I am currently dissected it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, there you go then. You even got the lingo. Oh yeah. Yeah. I used to help Dad a bit uh, when I was younger. When he'd do some tree work. Yeah. Yeah. He did a bit of everything. My dad. So, yeah, I used to help them out with it every now and again. <laughs> nice. Do you want me to show you a bit of a, an easy way to get rid of them branches? Yeah, I can when, do. When you're, using, when you're obviously with a spruce. If you just like walk up with the, the, the chainsaw on, it'll just get rid of all the branches on them because they're, they're easily just kind of cleared away. Hold them be. Yeah, just but walk directly up with the with the kind of chainsaw facing the same way as what the, the, you know, the trunk of the, the tree is facing. Do you know what I mean? So I want my chainsaw horizontal. Vertical. It's the same way. Vertical. Yeah, yeah, that's what I meant. Sorry. Yeah. <laughs> cool. It just it just might make it a little bit easier. That's all. Um, we're doing one meters, aren't we? I think that's probably the yes. best with this now that we're doing. Yeah, we're we're doing the the wood chips. I mean, it's easier to to get it in the wood chipper. Yeah. So it definitely. I mean, when we get fun. more money, like when we actually work up to something else, we can get one of the. I think there's a proper good wood chipper that's like I've not actually used it, but uh, it's base game, so it's going to be good because of that reason. Oh, okay, yeah. Uh, but that might be ideal. I mean, I would, I, I would say we, but it, it did take us a hot second to figure it out. Is in. I stood there bringing you logs and you figured out what was going wrong. <laughs> no, it's just uh, it's just a bit tricky to use. It's uh, 
it but does you that. Out fairly quick, to be fair. I think you're using it better than me. It mine keeps dropping through. Uh, if that was a, uh, I had a collision on this, it'd be perfect. But it doesn't actually have a collision on it. It seems like it does when I'm standing on it, but not, not when I'm doing that. If you put it in from the side, I think that's the easiest way so far, rather okay. than trying to. Uh, I'll try that. Then. Trying to feed it through. It turns out there's a bush here as well, so I might just quickly sort that out. I'm going to paint over that section so we can actually see what we're doing. Okay, okay. Come on. I mean, we're all going to we're going to chop all these down anyway. Yeah. Hopefully that's better. Oh my goodness, this log. You can twist them if you hold left back and I think it's left back and the right analog. So you pick it up, hold left back, which is not the trigger, and you yeah, yeah. you just turn it with the analog, the right analog. No, it uh, it doesn't seem to matter to be fair. It just for some reason it, I kept dropping it. I don't know why. Um, Are you but, putting it in then dropping it? No, no, I'm just putting it in. I know, but then is it just taking it out of your hand? Because every time I tried that, it kind of like just weirdly, I don't know. Yeah, it just takes it out of my hand for me. I mean, it's much better because I think most of them now, like, you can get like production ones. Yeah, you're right. Just put it into that section. I get it. I get it. Yeah, like yeah. straight on the side. It's actually working really well, that. Huh? We've already it got 7,000 litres nearly. This, so as soon as it's full, I'll... Uh, I'll move over to. Them out. Yeah, <laughs> unless you want to have a go at uh, reversing for everyone. What do you mean, Scroft? I, I reversed that one that's parked up right there. Perfectly, <laughs> first time, no issues. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> that's, that's all my handiwork. <laughs> exactly, exactly. Right, you're going to have to give me a second. Okay. There's, there's nothing there at the moment. Oh. Oh, right, I didn't realise that I just put one in. <laughs> I'm hoping it doesn't out, go to waste, though. That's the thing. Like, I hope it just doesn't... I'm hoping it like, kind of like, stores in a secret place, if you get me. <laughs> yeah, I guess we'll see when you part that one up. Good experiment. See, yeah. it was on purpose. I know what I'm doing. <laughs> yeah, it did. Oh, that's brilliant, then. Yeah, we're at 800, 828, so... This is actually really useful, doing it this way. You know what this reminds me of? You know, when you were little... And you did sports day as a kid. That bean spoon bag race. race. No, no. Egg and spoon race. No. The bean bag one. Where they'd yeah. put out like a line of bean bags and you'd have to run. And it'd be like you'd have a team. Yeah. And and then you'd have to run and get the bean bags and it was the first team to get all the bean bags out. Yeah, it just reminds, it just makes me laugh because obviously you're beanie and you're just like, Yeah, bean bag <laughs> race. Yeah. I know. Well, <laughs> one of your nicknames is Bean bag. I know. I yeah. know. Once confused with bin bag. <laughs> that was me, a little lad. Which was funny. Oh, bless him. Yeah, that did make me laugh. <laughs> um, oh. we're doing right. We're doing right. I might have yeah. to chop another. Depends how far. If you don't, did you chop all your pieces up? Like, ready to go? Yeah. Okay. So I'm just bringing them over now. One at a time. Right here. I'm going to chop this one down then. Um, Scraft. Hello? I have a confession. Well, it's not a confession to you. Oh, yeah? <laughs> the eggs and garlic. <laughs> the eggs and garlic? The eggs and garlic. Yeah? Yeah, that was my doing. <laughs> it was your doing. Uh, it's horrific. I, nice. I I am not a chef. someone who enjoys <laughs> no. <laughs> definitely not. <laughs> I I don't like scrambled eggs. I love eggs. Don't like yeah. them scrambled. I think it's a texture thing. Um but I, would... I actually quite enjoyed them with the garlic. I did brush my teeth after so I didn't stink the whole house up, but <laughs> I mean I, I was I was honest because I think the best thing is to be honest <laughs> and just say I looked at it, it was like what's that? Why does it smell like garlic? <laughs> I'm not eating this. <laughs> <laughs> Have you lost your mind? <laughs> <laughs> no. But yeah, that's where that came from. I added it in. Yeah. Well, I already knew where I was going to go with the story with George and 
you know, and Scroff sitting by there and just wanting to be bickering about something because I thought going from, you know, something quite sad to something like the normal routine of just bickering with each other is such a nice yeah. way to end and you know the whole thing of like Susanna watching him over over him just bickering with each other and then she'd be laughing but I didn't know what there was going to bicker about it could have been anything but I thought well George made some sandwiches <laughs> so I'll be like he's picked some really weird sandwiches and then because you made you know <laughs> garlic, garlic and egg I was like right that's what I'm going to do I love garlic though. I love garlic bread. I'll I put garlic in pretty much all of our meals. Um, I know I stink. <laughs> <laughs> well, it's a good thing you're not a vampire, but uh, I can't. I keep having that memory come to uh, come into my mind from when me and you first started to date, and we went on a little get away uh, not too far away from where, where we live and when that waitress asked how I wanted my eggs in the morning and I said oh. sunny side up yeah and I've been dying of embarrassment for the past like a few days because I can't get it out of my head and I was mortified because she Nothing looked at me like I was stupid <laughs> It's because you, you looked so unsure. Like, you said it, you should have just gone with it. Because then she would have been like, yeah, that's normal. But you looked at her and was like, have I said that right? Uh, yeah, I just, I got a bit confused. I didn't quite understand <laughs> what she was asking of me. And then, oh, uh, yeah. It, don't matter. I just, it was only about, no. I mean, you've got, a good, you've got, so far, you've got a really good history with eggs. <laughs> yeah. I love poached eggs, but I can never get them right. I've, I've tried vinegar, I've tried gently swill in the water, I've tried everything, and I just can never get them quite right. Well. Do you like poached eggs? Uh, not really, no, I'm not a big fan of that. Just a uh, uh, scrambled egg or a fried egg, and that's it, I'm happy. Butterfly. I also Garlic. like it when you turn the oven off. <laughs> <laughs> that, That's always a good that one. That thing's facing too much dirty laundry. <laughs> <laughs> I, I don't know. I think it must just be a family thing or something because. Right, we got a. It was oh. something we'd all do. Oh, oh sorry. When I was little. <laughs> yeah, it don't matter. Till, till the house on fire. I'm not burning it down <laughs> yet, so I'm no. taking it as a win. <laughs> I hope it never burns down. Like, Me I really. Too, that... <laughs> oh. What's that what? doing up there? Ah, stop stealing my logs. <laughs> Is this, how's this doing? Um, yeah, I've checked it, it was like 80 something percent, so oh it must be in gosh. the 90s. You sink into the wood chips. I oh, know. That is pretty cool. We're at 100 now. Oh. Oh, so okay. do you want to just jump into the, the John Deere and turn the... And you can turn that off for me. Yeah. 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 But all I good? do... Yeah, all good. I love watching. Do you want to follow like me the then? Farm hand back. Oh, I'm following you. Yeah, you jump in the the red one and you follow me. We're gonna go sell it. Oh, okay. A load of wood chips. So, any, what were you saying about the farmhand? Sorry, I love I love watching them back and seeing like how like our day to day life seeps into them because like I've noticed a few times like. If you're talking about what you or George will be having for dinner, it's what yeah. I told you we're having for dinner that night. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Always makes me chuckle. What, like the... Like no. Toad in the Owl, stuff like that. Yeah, Toad in the Owl. We don't really have much chippy tea, unfortunately. No, no. I've got a wedding dress to fit into, so I've got to be good. <laughs> yeah. I know, I have too. A wedding dress? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> You'll give me quite the shock if I if I turn off and you're there at the, the other end of the aisle in a wedding dress. <laughs> <laughs> Why not? Right, so we're here. Now, there is three sale points. There's Deerlands, which is technically off the edge of the map, but it's because you take it in the train. Now, it's a lot more. It's basically over double. 
right. more to sell there. But that, I've got to rent the train out, which is five hundred pound every hour we use it. So we can't afford that with where we're at, at the moment. So we're just going to take it to this, which is called the storage base. So imagine this is like because you know we're in the middle of nowhere, like Alaska or something, and this is a storage base. So. I mean, you could just drive through it. I don't know why I've just reversed, but I think it's just habit. Uh, and then just tip <laughs> into it. And we should start seeing... Oh, my God, the money is flying up. Ooh! That is 4, nice. 4,700. That's on normal difficulty. In fact, that feels a bit too easy. But we'll, we'll go with it. We'll go with it because... Why wood chips so much more? That's incredible. Maybe the short of wood chips in Alaska. Yeah. I think I have seen a comment though of someone saying that since I think it was since the platinum expansion that they made wood chips like a lot more money. Right. And if that's the case, and we start making ridiculous money, I think I might just put it back to hard difficulty for when we're doing wood chips or any logging. Okay. Because we just made so much from two tiny trailers, and think how many trees we've got. Nice. Right, so we can carry on, but I feel like we just made more money than I ever expected us to make on the second episode. So to already be at 14,000 is pretty crazy. Um, now, we could invest it into something pretty cool. Um, I, I am definitely going to put it down to hard difficulty, though, when we go to sell. When we go sell anything, if it's like logs or we sell... In fact, logs weren't... We didn't get loads of money for logs, did we? So no. I think just for wood chips, I'll put the price down on wood chips. Because that's a little bit too much for my liking. I just think, for what they are, they're only wood chips, aren't they? They're not going to be that much money. Who and knows? It, short uh, demand in Alaska. Short demand in Alaska. There's trees everywhere. <laughs> <laughs> but they might not cut them down. I don't know. Maybe they, they have lumberjack sort of shortage. No, I doubt it. I think it's just... Uh, I think it's because you obviously need to invest into the the equipment first. I think they're trying to do it that way. I imagine. But we've got, what, we're on our third tree and we just made 14,000 nearly. No, in fact, I think we made about 12,000 for them. <laughs> from yeah. three trees. In fact, it wasn't even three nice. full trees. So, yeah, we'll put it on hard difficulty when we're doing wood chips. I think it's the only, only fair thing to do or else this, uh, this series is going to be more of a, um, you know, an easy series than a survival. So I want you to reverse part this next to me. You can do this. Come on. And if not, I'm going to make sure I put it on a time-up so everyone can see your attempts. In fact, I'll have an attempt <laughs> counter on the top left-hand side of the screen now. Uh, oh, oh. So that's attempt one. <laughs> <laughs> you can do it if you're being cute. Right, I have to say quickly that for a second attempt, you've smashed that out of the park. You need to level it, straighten it up though. But you've done really well there. You were taking your time. You did it perfectly. I'm, I'm properly impressed. That was awesome. Oh, thank you. But yeah, look at that. That's perfect parking. And you took your time. It's when you go fast, it becomes like really hard. If you just take your time with it, you know, you can do them adjustments, can't you? So I'm what, a bit uh, trigger happy. Fair play. Fair play. <laughs> No, it's everyone that plays the games a lot. It's like the big advice you can do for reverse is just go slow. So if you want to disconnect from the trailer, and then we're going to go pick up the plows, and we're going to get this field properly done now. I mean, we've made some really good money from the wood chips. It kind of like it's eating away at me how easy that was. I, don't, I feel like it shouldn't have been that easy. It's but yeah, nice. that, whoever made that comment, I can't remember who did it, but someone made a comment about wood chips being like incredibly profitable and they are spot on that was uh, ridiculously gotta be a bit lucrative you know i know but there's a limit in there like we <laughs> we if we did that 10 times we'd have a hundred thousand it's not nice <laughs> oh where are the plows uh there's one there's a red one uh, okay red one for yours oh, yeah. blue one for mine oh i like that it's all matching <laughs> 
<laughs> so, I've already done the boundary, if you can remember. The boundary sorted on this. Yeah. Um, and, and we do need a harvester. We were mentioning about the fact that we need a harvester. So, actually, you know, the money we've just raised will go well towards that. Um, but we need to do up and down stretches. Now, what I need to do, when you get mm -hmm. on a line... I'd lift it up, by the way, because you, you plows down, you might start plowing a field. Oh, it said it was... Oh, there you go. Oh, that's why I was moving so slow. <laughs> what I need you to do, though, is when you get to a straight, if you want to go... Because all of it needs plowing. You see where I, I got you to cultivate as well, so where I am now, yeah. this needs plowing as well. Okay. But what I need you to do, because... You have to put limit to fields or allow create new fields basically on it because what uh, it, you have an option where it just plows within the field boundary we've already created. But because we're creating a new field boundary, when I get when you get to the grass section, you need it to be on limit to f limit uh, uh, create new fields or something like that. I think it is allow, allow create fields. Yeah, make sure that you press Y on that, and then it should just say limit to fields after. Okay. So. Now. What I need to do, though, is never drive like you did before on the grass when you're outside the boundary that I did, or else you'll start ploughing again, like, you know, outside okay. the, the new field boundary, if that makes sense. Yeah, that makes sense. And then, yeah, we go through it. Now, I'm going to use GPS because I've got that set up, but you haven't, so this is going to be a bit more harder for you, but you've already proven that with... You know, your skills, reversing skills. You've already got this in the bag. <laughs> yeah. Of course. <laughs> uh, I don't like these things. I no. much prefer how we did it last time. I know, but we haven't got that on. Like, I can't create new fields with a cultivator. It has to be with a plough, which is, you know, realistic. Yeah. You can do it.
I think we're doing all right, Beanie. What do you think? Uh, I'd agree with you. I've had a couple of uh, issues with the, me getting booted, but yeah. apart from that, I think oh. we're doing swimmingly. Yeah, you're doing really well. I have to say, for because I'm using GPS, I'm using VCA because I've got it set up. Um, I could show you that and everything if you want me to for next time around, but I actually think for someone that's been eyeballing that, you've done pretty well with the straight lines. It's, I think you said you missed a tiny bit here and there, but not, not much. Thank you very much, Scraft. Yeah, you've been doing really well, and I've just been kind of met you in the middle, didn't I? And then now I've you know, just extended it out the side, just thinking, you know, the bigger it is, the more, more money we'll make eventually. Yeah. We yeah. need to think about uh, buying a harvester at some point. So that'll be fun. Yeah, we need a stone picker first, don't we? Yeah, yeah. And we can't lease out anything as well because it's survival, so we have to buy. Now, I haven't got any stone pickers that technically are like small versions. They're all quite costly, but with the amount of money we're making from, you know, the, the wood chips, we are going to put them on hard difficulty though next time, like for when we sell wood chips. But... Okay. Yeah, part of me thinks I might try and see if I can find a stone collector that's like, you know, like an older one. It looks like it's a bit, you know, used and a survival one, let's say. Yeah, yeah. Like a bit second hand brand new. Well exactly. Yeah. <laughs> exactly. Um, now I'm just gonna check because I think because it's quite difficult to see, there's a few sections here that will still need ploughing because you've got the cultivated texture, so I'm just going to go over them and tidy it up a bit. Okay, no worries. And it's yeah, definitely not bad at all. I think there's only like three that I can see. Oh. Oh, I'm happy to hear that. Yeah, we're doing really well there. Um... You checking on the horse? Yeah, I'm just topping his food up. Her food? It's a her, isn't it, Oscar? I, I don't even know, honestly. <laughs> Oscar the mare. Yeah. I know it just automatically assigns a name. So it, it can, yeah. I think it can just assign. I don't know if they're like, you know, gender specified. I think it is all just free like that. So, you know, there isn't, yeah. you know, you could have a, a sheep called Tony. <laughs> Uh, <laughs> Actually, yeah, yeah. None, of the, none of the other animals have names. It's just uh, the horses that are given names within the game. Can you name them if you wanted to? No, so you can make a name of the horse. So if you want to name that horse now, feel free. You can go in and change the name of it. Like, I'm quite happy for you to do that. Uh, it's all good. She's forever Oscar now. <laughs> Fair play. Right, so... I think. Did you change your plow so it doesn't have the allow new fields kind of thing? I had it so it did. Okay, I just need to turn it off because if you drop it down now, it'll uh, start, you know, oh. making fields. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I'm happy in with the, that size. In the yard. Yeah, I'm happy with that size field anyway, so I think we can we can leave it there. Uh, yeah, I think it's a good size. really well there, field. aren't we? Yeah, I think we smashed it out. Right, that should be sorted. There we go. Stop walking. Happy days. So, if you need any water, if they drive it out to the river, it actually looks full. I don't think, because it's just one horse, I think it's not going to have too much uh, requirement when it comes to food and water yeah but you do need well daily riding is it full it's clean yeah. cleanliness is it full fitness will go up because we're still in the it, we're still actually in the same in-game day right yeah so nothing actually needs to happen uh food you could top up but we really need some base food we need some oats that's what yeah. we need i did um, put a bale in yeah but uh i just thought i'd do just the one yeah i have actually bought wheat seeds but we might might be a good idea to get some oat seeds because then you can use some of it to feed the horse. Yeah. So it's just buying it, I suppose. Although we've got a bit of cash. Problem is we can't do oats. Unless we... Pl well, we could do, but we'd have to Wait, plant it in. you can't buy it. 
like oh, a pre-made oh, no. feed. You can buy it. Yeah, we can buy horse feed. So we could do that. But I was saying about planting our own oat field. No, we could, but we'd have to make uh, a separate field boundary, which I think we should do, actually. I think we should make a new field boundary, maybe just to the side, um, the other side of where the horse field is for oats. Yeah. But we can't plant that until March, so we're going to have to go to the next in-game year. But we'll still harvest that at the same time. It'll just be like, it won't be like a winter crop that's sitting in over winter. It'll be planted in spring but then we can at least harvest it technically a year from now so next august yeah but yeah. wheat we're going to plant in like say september for example um so the next month and then we'll harvest that around july the year after so it still gets harvested around the same time it just uh yeah. okay we, we can't put the oats in over winter so where the horse field is now to the east of that you can put a little oats field for for your horse and then we can just carry on moving okay. westwards to do you know some crop that's going to make us money i think that's probably the best idea sounds like a good plan nice right well i think then on that note i think we're done aren't we we've done quite well yeah no shenanigans no. all sorted ah, it's got that on the board we can see how much diesel we've got now oh that's pretty cool i know i tried to have it so it just shows us um the amount of stuff that we're holding um but I don't know why it's picked up diesel, but not... Maybe it's anything that's in storage. So if we had a silo, it'd show that. So anything that's in storage, I think that's what it is. Oh, uh, Whereas... so it's kind of like a tally of everything we've got. Yeah, hmm. so if we had a silo cool. and we had wheat, grain, whatever kind of stuff, then yeah, it'd be in that. Or a liquid fertilizer or anything like that. I think it'll show up on the board. Okay. So it's yeah. good because it means that's how many litres of diesel we've got less in the tank because I did buy 500 litres. Okay. Nice. Nice. Sound. Sounds Not bad at all. On. So this Not field bad. in the next episode, then we'll just do some stone collecting. We'll have to figure out how much that's going to be. I'll try and find a mod that's, you know, more suited to this survival, and then we'll go and buy it. Um, we'll get some stones collected, put some lime down. We might even then plant in. Yeah. And I think then it's just a bit of herbicide, weeding, you know, fertilizing this field will be set then for the next harvest but then we need to try and do one for oats carry on with all the trees and stuff and just keep trying to make money so we can progress but i think with the amount that we've just made from you know the wood chips we've done we've done really well probably too well Fourteen thousand from just two trail loads and there were small trail loads of wood chips it's just extreme it is that's ridiculous really yeah but, hey i need to go into arboriculture arboriculture i don't what? know what it's called Ar Ar arboriculture? Oh, I can't remember the word for it. Uh, Arbor something, isn't we'll it? We'll call it logging. Logging, yeah. Gipping. <laughs> <laughs> it has to make it simple. We'll call it logging. Yeah. Why well, confuse things, eh? <laughs> <laughs> exactly. <laughs> exactly. Right. Uh, I think on that note, then, we'll leave the video there. Do you want to do the outro? Oh, why not? Thanks, everybody, for watching. I hope you enjoyed the video. Uh, Give it a big thumbs up for Scroft. Thank you very much. Thanks, everybody. Bye.